This maple leaf quilt, Leaves All Around, is from Joyce Sigelski of Merrill. The pattern was used as a friendship block in her club, the Pine Tree Quilters of Wausau. Celebrating maple trees in northern Wisconsin, Joyce couldn't resist putting in one purple leaf and one block with oak leaves and acorns. Jane Thompson of Galesville made this baby quilt sized snowball design quilt. She uses it as a wall hanging to decorate the wall of her office. Janine Fister of Gokana was inspired to design this original quilt pattern while in Greensboro, North Carolina, where she participated in a five-day workshop taught by Judy Dales. She created the pattern to symbolize the wind in a hurricane and incorporated 14 different colors of thread into the design, including rayons, silks, and metallics. Intermingled in the swirls are leaves, most notably the sugar maple, to represent the Vermont maple syrup industry. The name of the quilt, Bouquet from Floyd, came about during the workshop, where Hurricane Floyd paid a visit and eliminated the power for three days. It took Yvonne Kath of Montello two years to embroider the 12 butterfly blocks featured in this quilt. Each block has four small purple butterflies in the corners. During the process of making the quilt, Yvonne's daughter Penny mentioned that she liked it though she thought her mother would keep it because of how much Yvonne loves purple. But when the holidays came around, Yvonne gave the quilt to Penny as a surprise Christmas present. South Woods, submitted by Carla Spinks of Green Lake, was created by members of Ripon's Peacemaker Group. Individual members selected and made the separate designs using piecework, applique, and embroidery techniques. It is presently hanging in the new addition to the Ripon Library. Jean Gleiss of Richland Center hand quilted maple leaves. Jean was born and raised on the flatlands of Iowa, where there were very few trees in her area. She moved to Wisconsin 40 years ago and was awed by the many trees with their shady fall foliage. Jean created this quilt design to pay tribute to the colorful maple leaves in Wisconsin. Stargazer by Rosemary Lockhart came out of a class Rosemary took exploring the method of drafting and the technique of creating a twisted log cabin pattern. Stargazer is made of many long narrow triangles combined to make a star pattern. Rosemary said she had a lot of fun playing with the different placement of colors and shapes to create variety in the final pattern. In Winter Landscape, Barbara Smith of Sparta combines two of her favorite hobbies, quilting and painting. The fabric painting depicts a Wisconsin winter day, quiet and peaceful, but the clouds forecast the impending snow. Barbara hand quilted the border. Nancy Schmid created Aldo Leopold, The Man and His Legacy. At the center is a photograph of Leopold with his most loved tree, the white pine. The deer in the upper right hand corner represents his efforts to manage deer populations, and a shack in the lower right corner depicts the worn out land he, his family, and students restored to ecological health. This wall hanging belongs to the Aldo Leopold Nature Center in Monona. Margaret Harness of Nina submitted Fair Meadows, a collaborative work using a Jean Kimball pattern. Margaret's daughter Elaine belonged to a block exchange. The blocks were made by members of the group. Elaine began the quilting and Margaret finished it. Inspired by Botticelli's Birth of Venus, Debbie Siebers of Appleton made The Birth of Spring for a Hoffman Challenge. As the sun warms the wintry ice crystals below, spring bursts forth in the shape of the heart to reach for the sky. The sun is quilted with metallic thread to help it shine.
Denise Russert of Madison machine quilted this piece entitled The Lily Pond. The hexagon blocks were all made from one fabric with a print of lily pads and flowers. Each block was formed by combining six triangles cut from the same design theme. This gives the blocks a kaleidoscope effect and each is unique. Denise enjoyed the spontaneous process of making the quilt and said she didn't know how the blocks would look until it was completed. This Door County sampler was made to draw attention to the beauty of Door County and The Clearing, a creative arts folk school in Ellison Bay. It includes cherries and apples, log cabins, trees and fish, all common features of the area, and even the goats on Al Johnson's roof. To highlight The Clearing, Judy added The Clearing logo and a block featuring the Cliff House, a special quiet place that clearing enthusiasts hold dear. Lois Creeling of Oregon submitted this Bargello designed wall hanging quilt entitled Molten Rock. Lois says of the quilt, what makes this design interesting is the way the colors seem to vibrate as you look at them. Shirley Abel of Stoughton chose to use a traditional bear paw block to invoke a contemporary feeling in this quilt entitled Bear's Paw Variation. She varied the geometric shapes within the paw and used lattice work to create an illusion of depth. Though Shirley did some machine stitching in a ditch to stabilize the quilt, most of the quilt is hand quilted. A process Shirley says she enjoys because she is always intrigued by the textures and designs it creates. <laughs>